Okay, it's the beginning of July, so it is time for a planner walkthrough of my quarter two. I hardly ever close it, so I never see the cover. It's got some stickers my foster kiddos put on it. And I've got a list of things I wanna watch and read in the front. This is the thing about bills. Or the Read Harder Challenge, and the Reading Women Challenge, some podcast ideas, some business stuff. Then we come to April. This was my social media scheduling calendar, like kind of keep track of what topics I wanted to do. Around this time, I stopped recording the podcast. So this is in April, lockdown started like March 15th-ish for us. And uh, our foster kiddos we had at the time were four and six, they were out of school. So the podcast fell off right around here. I recorded this podcast. So that was the last time, mid-April. So didn't use it much. Then I did really like this paper though that comes on the back of this calendar. And this is from a monthly planner. So I have an idea of things to do with the girls. It's kind of where at the beginning of April, I sat down and made plans. There was a magical readathon coming up, arcs I needed to read, things I wanted to do with the girls, goals, kind of a daily plan, trying to get a hold of some things, extra page of notes. That has something I didn't fill out at the back. And then the regular calendar that I use for our family. So family Lego good day was scheduled, but obviously didn't happen. I was keeping track and no school. They actually started back at daycare here for a couple days of the week. I had various meetings for work and then the weekly spreads. So you can see I'm tracking what I'm reading and what I'm watching here. I got Animal Crossing on this day. It was wonderful. <laughs> Saved me. <laughs> um, you can see other than reading and watching, I'm not, I only have a couple to do's each day and sometimes there are things like decorate the eggs and get the photos printed. On the weekends, I'm not really tracking anything. This was the week of Easter. So what I decided to do is to just fill in this whole top part. I love this rainbow. I took everything from a Amy Tangerine sticker book that I actually got it Tuesday mornings. It's a sticker book. Everything that was these colors and went across it. I have a gratitude list, a watch list, a reading list, because each day I only had one or two things to do. When I'm working full time in my business, I need the whole page, but when the kids are home and that's mostly what I'm doing, I wasn't even looking at my planner every day, which is key for me of actually using it. But I really liked sitting down on Sunday or Monday to make it pretty. It like gave me peace of mind. So I did a lot more stickers um, this week from another like cheap sticker book I got somewhere. Reading, watching, slightly more things getting done. And uh, the next week I went with a floral theme. You can see slightly more stuff actually getting done. A lot of these things are like foster care related, tracking what I'm watching, reading. <laughs> this, is, this is Animal Crossing. I was trying to figure out how to uh, do my Animal Crossing neighborhood. I so see you didn't really use the podcast and video planner at all this week, but I or this month, but I did um, do some planning for the arcs I was going to read and the books for the Women Fictions Prize. This was a uh, social media calendar idea. I was going to move this week to week, but I just could not pick back up on social media. Some other really stressful things happened with foster care, and I just may became really, really, really hard. In part because I needed to help my mom drive to Cookville because she was moving, and in part because the girls left down here. Um, I started therapy at the end of May. You can see I added our pay periods on there, a little sticker that the girls colored for me and wanted me to have. And then this started the weekly spread. Again, you can see I'm getting less done, some foster care stuff kicked up. We have visits twice a week with different people. Um, Mother's Day, which was actually very lovely. And then uh, a little bit about some other stuff that's going on. I wrote down, um, we're going to skip through that. I used a Serenity sticker here. You can see not a lot. I'm not keeping track of any to-dos. Um, both stress got really, really high. Um, foster care stuff got crazy. And to be honest, I was starting a depression. You can probably see it around here with getting fewer things done. Um, so you see very few things marked um, except for appointments that we have, but I'm not getting much done each day or even trying to. Um, I pinked my hair this week, reading, watching. 
I always tried to do the watching and reading or the gratitude areas no matter what else was going bad so that I was at least like in some way paying attention to my life writing it down um, this is when the girls left I had an all-day training for my foster parent trainer job I've been actually a lot of trainings you can see it's kind of rainbowy again I did these which are from the Amy Tangerine happy planner book this is too you see I did my best sticker and then we come to June totally empty podcast planner after the girls left at the very end of May after the girls left at the very end of May I decided to completely take June off of everything everything work related um, foster care related I didn't do much planning for the month I don't know if I wrote anything down on my calendar June 3rd was my birthday I did the starship chat each week so I started teaching a Saturday class for new foster parents it's called Tennessee Key so that's the work I did in June. As you can see, I did my birthday. Yay, ice cream. I got the um, reading uh, bookish sticker book. So I started using that. Through here, everything that's highlighted is how I mark it off that it's done. I had a call that day. Um, I went to the pool with my mom. And then I started teaching Tennessee Key here. I'm actually getting some things done each day, but not a lot of stress. Took with um, Ray to the vet all green little rainbowy again and you can see I keep going back to rainbowy this is a list of books I need to read because um either they were due back at the library my library started doing library pickup I think this week which is why I did I made a little note of it appointments teaching and this is just last week you can, I feel like you can almost track my mental health <laughs> by how much more I'm able to get done each day. This is a, you know, all of these things that are marked off I got done. This is a little to-do list for my trip that's coming up. So I put a little plan next to it. And then this week, I am leaving on July 1st. So this is my packing list, everything I want to pack. I haven't quite, I'm going to maybe finish it a little more. Um, I guess I should have done that before I shot this, but technically this ends <laughs> quarter two up to here. Got me. I'm going to leave this at home, so that's why I'm not writing anything. This is just a packing list. Um, I'm not writing anything in here. And then I'm done with this planner. I've used it all up. That's the last page because it only went to the end of June. So we've got a July planner coming. It's actually going to come when I'm out of town. So when I come back, I will uh, show you that and start using it again. But while I'm gone, I'm just going to leave this here at home. So I hope you enjoyed the flip through and I hope you're having an excellent month.